So for knitters and crocheters, yarn is really like paint is to painters. And so when I got this great yarn from Outlaw Yarns from New Zealand, I just couldn't wait to play with it and paint my palette. What's really great about this yarn is it's made from alpaca and Polworth, which is a kind of sheep, and also possum. And those combinations make the color super saturated and rich. So it was just begging for a really graphic pattern. So what I usually do is I go to one of my favorite swatch books, all different techniques. I really like the stitchinary books from Vogue Knitting because there's all different kinds of things that you can experiment. So I was flipping through the pages and I found a Bargello swatch, which is this. And it looks very much like the Bargello needlework that you've probably seen. It was really big in the 70s and is making a comeback now. It's like stripes, but it's got a little flare. And the flare is really what I'm going to focus on today, what I'm going to show you how to do. That being the little spikes and dips that make it look kind of ripply and, and chevron-y. Okay, so I've already done all of the setup rows bef before that, and the complete instructions for this whole swatch will be on our website, so don't worry about that. All right, so th on the wrong side, we're always doing a prep row. So I'm ready to do that now. The stitch pattern is purl three, Then the next stitch that you purl, you're going to wrap not just once, but twice. This is gonna be giving us a little more fabric for the next row. Then you're just gonna repeat that all the way across. So purl three. And then the next stitch, we're purling one, wrapping twice. And then you end with just a purl two, those will be your selvage stitches. Okay, so you flip your piece over, and that was your main color, and this is where you join in your next color. And surprise, surprise, I've chosen an aqua color, which I love. Okay, so we're gonna join our color, and this is now on our right side. We're gonna go back to knitting. We're gonna knit two stitches. Then, keeping our yarn in the back, you'll notice right here, we did those wraps on the other row, you'll see them. You're gonna slip the stitch off and let that wrap just hang out. So you can see the stitch is gonna look way longer than everything else, right? So then, you leave that there, and then you're going to knit one, and then we're going to be making a loop. So what, we're, what that means is we're going to go down two rows. So to make the loop, we go down, you'll see one row here below, we're gonna go down in the next one. So we're gonna pick up that, and that's why I really like to use these sharp metal tips, makes it really easy. We place it on, we keep it on our right hand needle. Then we're gonna knit that next stitch. Then we take that loop that we just picked up and slide it off. And that's really what's making the fabric curve over. So let me show you that whole process one more time. Okay, so we knit one. You're also gonna notice that that stitch that we slipped earlier, that's what's creating that spike in the stitch pattern because we're not working it, much like you would for mosaic knitting. All right, so we are knitting excuse me, with the yarn in back, we're slipping the stitch. Unless the directions tell you otherwise, you always slip purl-wise. Purl we let the second wrap fall off. Then we knit one. Then we're making a loop by counting one stitch, two stitch, or rows rather down. We keep that stitch on our right hand needle. We knit the next stitch and then pass that one over. And you're just gonna continue that all the way to the end, and then there's just a sequence of changing the colors like you would with regular stripes. And that's how you create this great stitch pattern. I love it. Again, the swatch pattern is provided by the Vogue Knitting people, so we'll have it on our website. Have fun with your colors. That's what knitting and crochet is all about.